Today, let's talk about FFTs. FFTs allow us to view the frequency components of data we've captured on our oscilloscope. This is important as the signals you analyze get more complex. Complex signals have more harmonics, or frequency content, above the fundamental. This affects your signal's shape and quality. Visualizing harmonics within a signal is vital to debugging and analysis of complex signals. Let's look at what this means. We start with a basic 1 MHz sine wave going into our oscilloscope. What we're going to be doing today is FFT measurements. FFT is a computational mode where we can calculate frequency domain from the time domain data on your oscilloscope. This gives us a different way to investigate and analyze signals. Now to use our deep memory mode, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is move out the time scale on this scope. That'll give us a lot more data to analyze when we do the FFT. Now let's go ahead and turn the FFT on. Here we see the FFT on the bottom of the screen in purple. As you can see, we have really one peak at this point, and that's at 1 megahertz. So our current scale is 1.25 megahertz per division with 7.5 megahertz in the center. So as we can see, that's a pretty clean sine wave. Now let's move it over to a square wave. Now we can see all the odd harmonics. We have a first, third, fifth, seventh harmonic, and further out. So this gives us really a look at what frequency components are in the signal beyond the primary. A third signal we're going to look at today is the ramp. So mathematically we know that a ramp signal should fall off more quickly than a square wave, but you should still be able to see the odd harmonics. And again, we can see that capability here. So by looking deeper into the signal, using the long record length of the 1000Z oscilloscope to capture more memory, and then doing the FFT in memory mode on that signal, we get a better look at the frequency components hidden deep within our signals. This is a great way to do a basic frequency analysis of signals that we need to investigate further. In that test, we used the DG4000 waveform generator to create our signals, and we analyzed them with a 1000Z series oscilloscope. We used the deep memory FFT capabilities of the 1000Z scope to show better signal quality of our frequency domain analysis of our signals. The 1000Z series oscilloscope makes a great analysis tool for your lab or bench.